Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for the weekend, July 14th and 15th, 2018. For your Saturday, we're expecting partly cloudy skies across the entire region, and it will turn a little bit hotter, so temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s to near 90 down here by Philadelphia. So a very warm afternoon, and we're also going to have the humidity increase a little bit, I think even more so on Sunday, and then we're going to peak on Monday, I think, with the heat and humidity. So uh, we are going to be mostly dry this weekend. We will call this a third consecutive weekend of dry weather, although we'll have some areas see an isolated thunderstorm later on Sunday and maybe along the far northern tier of Pennsylvania as we get toward the evening hours, you might have something crossover. You can see that right here, right along the New York-Pennsylvania uh, border. If you go over the name high-res future simulator, simulator radar at 9 p.m., you can see some activity right along the northern part here. Not much, but uh, it's enough that it'll just be right along the border. You could have a few showers or maybe a thunderstorm, and that's it. That goes into, uh, it goes into Sunday. Once we get into Sunday afternoon, though, we have some pop-up storms. Uh, that'll uh, take place mainly in our western counties as we have a surface trough that's going to move through. And uh, here's a look at that. We get into, uh, here's a look at Sunday, and you have uh, an opportunity for just these pop-up storms right here. And that's what you're looking at right here. Uh, the models have been trending away from anything on Sunday night, but there might be something Sunday morning early across our far northern tier. Uh, I went past that here, and I'm going to go back to that. Uh, here's what it looks like early on Sunday morning. This is 8 a.m. Uh, here's 11 a.m. So you might have something crossover parts of north central and northeastern Pennsylvania early in the morning and that's what the global models are suggesting right here and again that's for Sunday morning and then the rest of the day is uh, mostly cloudy up north but they'll be partly cloudy further south and then we get to uh, still still pretty hot temperatures and we'll have those isolated uh, thunderstorms popping up mainly in our western areas and that's going to be for later in the afternoon on Sunday and then it continues a little bit further eastward toward the evening here's uh a look at 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. So you have an opportunity for a pop-up storm. These are very widely scattered, uh, not any part of a, not part of any organized activity. So most of the weekend is going to be dry, uh, at least during the during the daylight hours. Once we get to uh, Monday, it's going to be the peak heating day of the weekend. Sunday is very similar temperatures to Saturday, in and around upper 80s to near 90, kind of both days. And humidity is going to be a little bit higher on Sunday, and then even higher yet by the time we get to Monday. Uh, it looks like the isolated and widely scattered thunderstorms are going to remain west of the region. But we did leave an isolated thunderstorm in the forecast here for uh, parts of our area, uh, in, at least in the Pennsylvania counties, later on Monday. Just because it's going to get so hot and humid, temperatures in the low to mid-90s for highs from north to south, and you have the humidity increase. We'll probably have some heat headlines from the National Weather Service here on Monday if this holds. And it does look like it will, so we'll have opportunity to have see heat index values over 100 uh, once we get to, or close to 100 or over on time we get to uh, Monday. Now Tuesday, uh, we have a cold front that's moving in from the west, and that will bring scattered showers and thunderstorms through the region, mainly on Tuesday afternoon and evening. It's going to move through pretty uniformly, though. It doesn't get hung up, so we have the opportunity, depending on the timing of this, we'll have to watch for the potential for some severe weather. At the very least, we're going to have some drenching storms. And the same thing with these storms here uh, that we're looking at on Sunday, these pop-ups. They have the opportunity. They're moving very slow. There's not a lot of shear, which is your steering flow aloft. So they're not going to be in a hurry to move. They're going to be pulsers popping up, dumping on an area, and then they fizzle and they get choked out by their own, their own updrafts. And uh, so they'll be just popping up and dumping and then just moving on. And that's what we're dealing with on Sunday. That's also what we're dealing with on Tuesday, but it's not going to be just pop-ups. We're going to have just the heavy rain potential ahead of this cold front. And uh, that's the primary focus for, uh, I wouldn't say severe weather, but we do have a, a, a decent amount of lightning that could, could, could occur with these storms. Uh, Sunday and again on Tuesday, actually Monday too, with Monday afternoon with the heating of a lot of instability in place that will allow for the increased amount of lightning. But Tuesday with the front, you'll have the extra lift and uh, we could have some stronger to perhaps even severe storms. And we'll know that when we get a little bit closer over the weekend, we'll have a better look at it once the NAM comes in a range and we know what we're dealing with here on Tuesday. So we're going to wait a couple days until that comes in a range. And it does look like after this front goes through, we're back to partly to mostly sunny skies here on Wednesday, Thursday, back in the mid-80s, 85, 86, something like that. And then it's when, once we get to late week, we're partly cloudy. Another system may affect the region on Saturday, maybe as early as Friday night with a warm front. We'll have to watch this closely, but it does look like Friday's dry. And then Saturday, this, uh, this system right now is projected to move through the region, and it could bring some... Uh, periods of rain here on Saturday. We don't want to jump the gun on this, but this might break the streak of, uh, of three consecutive weekends of dry weather. So we'll see. Uh, this could speed up. And this, we're looking at this a week away, so it could speed up or slow down or what, what have you. And uh, we'll address this when we get into Monday's video uh, next week. Now, I do have one programming note. I know we do these daily forecast videos every single day. And then again on Saturday. Uh, we don't do them on Sundays. 
Uh, next week I will be on vacation, so there will be no videos after Monday. I will have the Monday video. Uh, after that, we will not have the video the rest of the week. I'm actually moving in a new home, so uh, I'm in the process of moving over there throughout the week, uh, packing the truck and things like that, so I will not be available next week. And uh, there will be no videos. Uh, the local forecast will continue as usual, uh, but I won't have the long range and beach forecast this week either. So just keep in mind that uh, I will not be available for these videos every single day. I will have it on this mo this coming Monday after the weekend. I'll give you a better update on this late week storm and any severe potential maybe on Tuesday and anything else that changes over the weekend. I'll let you know that on Monday, but it will be the last video until the following Monday once I'm moved in and settled into the new home. I'm Eastern PA Weather 30 Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for... The weekend, July 14th and 15th, 2018. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.